Oh, Mother Tree, open your arms, open your arms and embrace me. Oh, Mother Tree, watch over me, watch over your child and embrace me. Though shadows fall, there shall you stand. There shall you stand with your arms open wide, ready to embrace. Do you understand me, Trello Alchemy? Oh, what's this? Once, not understanding was acceptable to you, lesser races of Tyria. But when Scarlet Briar attacked Lion's Arch, she changed the world. And her actions were somehow inspired by her visions of the eternal alchemy. Now, not knowing what could lead to our destruction. What a strange, um, golem? Odd. That golem looks like an Azura. Please present donations to me so I may research the eternal alchemy. My work will save Tyria. Would you get a load of this guy? Do you doubt the truth? My proof lies around you as the wreckage of this city. Yeah, yeah. I've heard that's what those Asura believe. Guess they've programmed preacher bots now. <laughs> Either way, I've got stuff to do. Like grab a drink. You know what that means, right, Tin Can? Affirmative. You wish to wash away your troubles with the consumption of alcohol. Oh, we've got a genius over here. Now then, let's go find a bar. Lion's Arch. What a mess. I always thought this city was too cluttered. As a child, I once got lost in the streets, the people pushing past me, and the strange buildings. You could imagine how that panicked me, how terrified and helpless I felt. Then Scarlet Briar came, and Lion's Arch lit up like a match. A flame sprung from these streets and burning the heart of Tyria, and it only served to inspire chaos as heroes and soldiers charged in to protect this damaged city. If one thought it had been cluttered and chaotic before, it only grew worse during the assault. Bodies that once pushed past me as a child with such arrogance, too busy to notice a terrified child, were now dead at my feet. And now, in the wake of the attack, we emerge cautiously to the ashen ruins of our homes. The message board, once holding notices of import, requests for job applications and so on, now hold the names of the fallen. Now there are children everywhere, all alone, all terrified. What could drive a person to cause something like this? What could inspire such destruction? Of course there are rumors, but to those of us that understand, to those of us who know, Scarlet Briar saw the all, the truth, what the Asura call the eternal alchemy. And I am here today in Lion's Arch to discover that knowledge, because that's the key. That's how I'm going to take over the world. Very impressive speech there. But tell me, what's that got to do with me? And how much are you planning on paying? I need to arrange for a kidnapping. There's a golem currently in the holding cells nearby. Got feisty with the lion guard and they locked him up. But I need him. Undamaged. This one is special. More sentient than other golems. He insulted their intelligence. Look, just find him. He looks like a metal Asura. It's impossible to miss him. Fine, fine. But I'll be expecting my pay up front this time. Prison breaks ain't easy to swing, you know. Paid. Now then, I have no desire to remain in this filthy place any longer than necessary. Hang on. How will we find you? When we have the golem. Oh, don't worry. I'll find you. What a piece of work. What's with this water they serve in Lion's Arch? The beer in the Black Citadel. It's the only thing a real warrior should have. Well, when a real warrior shows up, I'll be sure to give them some Black Citadel beer. Mm. 
You want to say that to me again, you pathetic little- Oh! What the hell? You insult my sister's wine? I'll feed you your own tail, kitten. Buddy, I'm gonna feed you your own teeth, and then some! Oh, look at that! Dinner and a show! Well, that bar has quite a rowdy lot. Oh my. The teapot in that china shop is so lovely. It will look fantastic while serving tea to my friends in my garden. I knew this trip to Lion's Arch would be more than worthwhile. Good evening, fine customer. Welcome to Harfoot's china shop. Ah, yes. Thank you, good sir. I am interested in the teapot you have in your window. If you wouldn't mind showing it to me, I would very much like to purchase it. <laughs> A silvari with great taste. Go grab it, just be careful. This stuff is fragile. Oh, come, come now. Silvari are well known for our elegance and... <laughs> oh dear! I, I didn't mean to... Oh, bother. That's not quite what I intended to... That count is about to fall on me! Ah. Oh, there it is. <laughs> um, you wouldn't happen to have a... Uh... Bag there, would you? Stupid cha to have my bar apart. <laughs> she should just be glad that line guard came in to arrest her, or I would have kicked her ass. Really no. Cause to me, it looked just like she was wiping the floor with you. <laughs> I mean, she used you like a mop. That broom you're using could have been replaced by you. <laughs> And the look on your face was so bloody priceless. You'd best watch your tone with me, Missy. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Well, that's more like it. But seriously, how is it you're such a bad fighter? Okay, that's it. Girl or not, I'm kicking your ass. I'd keep still there if I was you. I can throw a knife pretty accurately. And next time, it won't be the wood I hit. Do you have any idea who we are? If I didn't, I wouldn't be here. I have a job that needs doing. One of the illegal persuasion. And I need some of Lion Arches, well, lesser crime lords to help me out. Well, I'll show you lesser. Sit down before I carve a smiley face in your buttocks. You're the best I can afford at the moment, so I'll have to bear with you. And if prison breaks required more than just me on my lonesome self, then I wouldn't use you at all. So, you sit and listen to my business proposal, and I stand here and tell it to you. Savvy? Who the hell are you? Ah, see, real criminals keep their identities a secret. But you can call me Swift Jane, the professional troublemaker. Get a move on, cabbage. Ow. Please, that hurts. Ow! No need to be so rough. Greetings. Oh, hello. It is nice to have company. I was talking to the wall for over an hour before I decided it was not worth the one-sided conversation. You're... You're that metal Azura from outside. You were talking about the, uh... The thing. The eternal alchemy, yes. I insulted the Lion Guard's intelligence, and they decided I should spend some time here. Oh, how awfully mean these Lion Guard are. I only broke a, a few very expensive pieces of china. Did you pay back your debts? I did not have the money to pay back such a debt. And now you're here, keeping me company. How lovely. None of this is lovely. This is absolutely wretched. I think I preferred the wall. The wall did not whine. Hurry up! Get your hands up. Of me or you get a black eye too. Get in there! Damn you all. I'll break your... <sighs> what are you two looking at? Cabbage and the... 
The silly Robo Asura from earlier. Ugh, you got any help. Stuff them. Ah, oh, the stuff. <laughs> Ugh, got into a fight. Oh, that Magnus guy showed up. Bald swing. Caught him with a good one. Ha! Now he's got a black eye. Woo! Iron Legion training for ya. Oh, oh, I, I really think I'm gonna take a nap. Ain't pulling night duty. Quit your whining. You're giving me a headache. But it's so cold out here. Oh my god, would you shut up? How are you not cold? Not even a little bit. I hate you more than anything right now. Well, aren't you too cheerful? This area's off limits. Leave. Now. Uh-huh. Yeah. Come on. Two of you hide the bodies. The rest of you inside with me. Now. There are no Savari children. Silvari exit their dreams as adults. Yes, but we still have songs. I must repeat my earlier statement. There are no Silvari children. This song has no purpose. Well, it isn't for the children. I have a friend who wrote the song for me. You are a full-grown Silvari, as all Silvari are. Why would you need a song for children? The song has no purpose. I- Uh, you two talk too much. Oh, still dizzy. I might still be drunk. You certainly smell drunk. I would not suggest antagonizing the char, as she is large and you are small. I don't smell. <laughs> Maybe a little. But that's what happens when... The guards are engaged in combat. Yeah, I can tell. My sensors indicate five hostiles in the area. Hostiles? Oh no! This isn't good at all! What if it's a prison riot? Would we have to participate? I'm not very good at fighting, and I don't want to riot. Oh, why does this day keep getting worse? Shut up, vegetable. It's not a riot. Ah, here's the cell. There's the golem. And two other prisoners. Well, well... Looks like you two have your lucky day. You get to escape this cell. And the golem gets to come with me. The golem objects to this arrangement. That don't really matter to me much. You're coming with us. Or we'll make you come with us. Excuse me, sir, but he said he does not wish to join you, so I suggest you leave. <laughs> Open the door for me. Tell me, Savari, why would we leave? <laughs> because you are small, and our char friend is big, <clears throat> and uh, also hopefully against the kidnapping of golems. Hmm. Yeah, I suppose I am against it. Come here. Oh, hell. She's fast! I got her! Ah, she got me! Come here, you! Oh. Oh. Alright, hold it right there, or I'll put a bullet between your eyes. Alright. I'm standing still. I got him! Why, you little... The gun! Grab it! Too late! Their leader's got it first! Robot, throw me the shield on that guard, now! Affirmative. Got it! Time to die! <laughs> what the hell? You put up a force field. You're a guardian! Yeah. Can't work that magic without the shield, though. Pretty dumb rule. But, now I can do this. Ah! <coughs> uh. Oh, I shouldn't have used any energy waves when I'm... Oh, uh. oh there it is. Oh, there's the hangover. 
Oh, I think I'm gonna puke. Oh no, please do not. Hang on. Wait. No. I'm good. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> Rise and shine, sleepyheads! Oh no, it's you again. Oh, go away. My head's pounding worse than a, a, a thing that hurts. Yes, it's me. I am Turn Hoffoot, a war master for the vigil and a high ranking member of the pact. And I sometimes look over my sister's china shop when she's out of town. Look, sir, I am so sorry about the incident in your... I mean, your sister's shop, and I only wish I had Shut the... Shut up uh... and sit down. You won't need to pay me back with money. You can pay me back with service. Um, services? Yes, I'm going to one of the pack bases recently set up in the Maguma Wastes. My crew is short on, well, servants. You'll be paying your debt by cleaning the floors. Doing the dishes and, uh, what have you. Absolutely not! I am not a servant. I am a- If that's not satisfactory, then the Lion Guard will keep you here under lockdown. I, um... I look forward to joining your crew. Yeah, that's what I thought. Next, Peter Softooth. Why are you here? Shouldn't you be with your warband back in Ascalon? Haven't got a warband. Not anymore. Here on my own. Well, that's lucky. The guards here told me about your handiwork with those guys that tried to kidnap the golem. Said you were pissed drunk. Hardly any balance, and yet you managed to apprehend them all. I have a talent for hurting people. What of it? Would you like to join my crew? We could use a fighter like you. Win honor for the memory of your warband. Better than what I'm doing here. Lastly, the gold. You wish something of me? Are you going to kidnap me as well? No, I'm here to recruit you as well. Heard you going on about the Eternal Alchemy and Scarlet Briar all the way from my shop. Asked the Lion Guard to toss you in here so I could pick you up later. You asked for him to be arrested? Just so you could pick him up? Well, I was coming to the prison anyway. You three aren't the only ones here that are joining my crew. Every convict in these cells is getting this choice. The pack needs soldiers and these criminals need freedom. What would you wish of me? I hope not cleaning the floors. No, nothing quite like that. I'm going to give you to our scientists. We've got a small group that believe this eternal alchemy is the key to our war with Mordremoth. I'm not sure what that means, but at this point I'm desperate. I'm willing to try anything. Will I have a lab? Yes. Assistance to Bully? Try to go easy on them, but yeah. And I would be in charge? We'll see. This is good enough for me. I am in. Ah, uh, Miss Jane. Glad to see you escaped your imprisonment. This is what happens when I work with amateurs. I'll be paying those two idiots at the tavern a visit. I promise their failure will be- No. They might come in handy. We have to alter our plans, but we still have the potential to win this. Oh, really? And what's the new plan? You must unite the crime families of Krita. The bandits, pirates, smugglers, all of them under my banner. An ambitious endeavor. Could be costly. What about the golem? Those two that were in the cell with it are still at its side. One hell of a coincidence for them all to be taken on by the pact. I cannot ignore a coincidence like this, surely. The eternal alchemy spins on and on. 
No action can be undone, and it could not have arrived at its point in any fashion other than what we have already seen. It is hay as it spins, straw that can be bent and broken, reshaped and molded. But once spun, it is gold. It is visible, but it is also difficult to break. Very well then. That golem, Snell? I steal the face of a packed soldier. I shall follow this Asura creation. Let him discover the secrets of the eternal alchemy for me, and then I shall take it from them. I will step upon the neck of Tyria and squeeze the air from it until, with its last gasping breath, it screams my name in praise and fear, and even the elder dragons will bow before me. Though shadows fall, there shall you stand. There shall you stand with your arms open wide.